going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farms of News, baby. Hashtag Farms of News. Today, A2 Square Studio updates us on the progress of the TLX 2020 series. MJ Monig's Gatehead Farms with Giants for testing. 4D Mining are moving to Twitch. A Dub Mining's doing something really cool for console players. AAA Mining will be doing a two wheel drive version of the 55 series. Irish Theme Mining updates us on the progress of Agalee Farm. Plus, Sid Mining made another one. Let's check them out. Since this is a special Saturday edition of Farm Sim News, there will be no mod testing list update because those only get updates Monday through Friday, but we do have a lot to talk about, so let's jump right in. Starting off today, we've got some information from A2 Square Studio on the status of the TLX 2020 series farm truck. As many of you may know, it was sent back yesterday after failing the first round of testing. Fortunately, it was something very minor and has already been fixed and is already sent back for retesting. The mod will be released for all platforms and features one truck, three rear modules, and three trailer modules to match with more customization options than you can even imagine. MJ Monica said that his next map, Gatehead Farm, has now been sent off to Giants for testing. As with every map, it is likely that it will fail the first time, but in the meantime, it will be sending the map off for first looks, look at me, and remodeling stuff. Once the PC version has been released, it will be working on console version as well. This is a map that I've been looking forward to for a long time, and I cannot wait to play on it. 4D Mining is coming to Twitch! There aren't many mod creators out there that stream their work. With A2 Square Studio leading the way with a very successful following on YouTube, I think it's really cool to see another mod creator doing something similar on a different platform. I'm sure out there there's lots of you that already have a Twitch account. Go down in the description and check out 4D Modding for gameplay and modding streams on Twitch. Ada Modding still working hard on the old Gen Massey pack and making improvements to make it the best that it can possibly be. Right now he's doing some visual updates as well as working to shrink the file size of the pack for console players. File size is a huge decision when choosing your mods on console, so this is great to see. Thank you, A-Dub, for doing that. Let's talk about the AAA modding John Deere 55 series. We haven't mentioned this pack in quite a few days. The mod pack is being created for all platforms and will include US and EU versions of the John Deere 4755 and the 4955 tractors. These will be available in both four-wheel drive and two-wheel drive versions, and it was said that we would get some new information on the two-wheel drive version this weekend, but at the time of recording, Nothing has been posted yet. I will likely share this post on my Facebook page once it is made and talk about it on Monday in Farm Sim News, as I don't make Farm Sim News on Sundays or I don't really record on Sundays at all. Sunday's my day off. <laughs> I pre-record all the videos for Sundays. Irish theme modding creators of Agley Farm, which was the first mod on the testing list a few times this past week, has come back with a few errors, but the errors have been fixed and resubmitted to Giants for testing. We talked about this map a few days ago, but a quick recap. It will feature static farm buildings, animals built into the map, six farms featuring three cow farms, one sheep, and one pig and chicken farm. There are 72 fields from small to medium size, a shop, three grain sale points. Agley Farm is going to be seasons ready as well and have new lighting thanks to Oxygen David. The mod creator is intending for this map to be for all platforms and will go into console testing once the initial PC test is completed. And lastly today, Sid Modding looks to have finished the EU versions of the 2020 John Deere 8R saying John Deere 8R and 8RX, welcome to Europa. If you guys are like me, I always like to have a front three point hitch just because it makes things a lot easier with gameplay and farming simulator regardless of realism or not. With this update, we're going to be getting front three-point options for all models, 8RX, 8R, 8RT, yeah, the 8RT, and the 7R. These are going to be coming as an update to the 2020 John Deere Tractor Pack by Sid Modding, which includes many features and improvements to the mod pack. Thank you not only Sid Modding, but every mod creator that spends their free time to make these awesome, game-changing, and just awesome mods for everybody to enjoy. Thank you so much. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I didn't talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording, so make sure you stay tuned to the channel for up-to-date information on everything going on the World of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the Goham fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. I do have a Let's Play coming out a little bit later on today, so make sure you stay tuned to that. But with all being said, I hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace!
Are Saturday Farm Sim News the best Farm Sim News?